full of all fuzz and things. There is a name that's above depression. There is a name above suicide. There is a name above poverty and lack. There's a name above loneliness. There's a name above depression. Wish I could catch something. There's a name above all the issues that one may face. There's a name above abuse. People mistreat people. There's a name above lies and rumors. There's a name above the naysayers. There's a name that your Bible declares that at that name, every knee is going to bow. At that name, every time is going to bow. At this name that I'm speaking of, the Bible says, at that name, then, believe in something. At that name. The name that is above just saying, Lord, help the name that is above saying Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Lachadesh, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah. There's a name. There's a name above Elohim, the Creator of God. There's a name above Agadai. Uh, th- th- there is a name above El El John who means the God most high. Uh, th- there's a name above saying that he the will and the member of the will. That, th- there is a name that's above saying that, that he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Because 
when I was growing up in the church. I remember that he was a doctor that never lost a patient. I'm going to talk to somebody here and say, God, I, I remember that he was a mind from the lady. Oh, I think he was a heart doctor. Somebody who could talk to me real quick. I, I wish I had somebody who knew who I was talking about. I, 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 I remember that, that he was the one that caused me to rise early in the morning. Yeah? That he was the one that caused me to lay down at night. I wish I had somebody who, who understood who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Jesus, the, the one that died. Yes. Believers will call on the name of Jesus. 
Oh, somebody is listening. I, I'm scared that somebody's son that you thought would never come home. I, I, I wonder what would happen to me if somebody would call on the name of Jesus and open up their mouth and just call them, just call on them right now. Just call on them right now. 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 Just call on them right now. Just call on them right now. Just call on
a lot of us haven't got over the pain of yesterday. And I feel something going on in this room right now. And I want to handle it in a very methodical way because someone needs to understand something today. That God is looking to turn the situation all the way around. But what we're going to need today is something that church folk have a hard time with. I'm going to ask you for an offering that church people have a hard time with. And that is an offering of honesty. Because church makes us put on this religious mask and face. That I got to wake up and put on my best clothes. And I got to make sure my makeup is done right. And I got to make sure my hair is done right. And I got to make sure everything is in place. Because I don't want anyone to look at me to think I don't have it together. But the truth of the time, many times we come to the other with a great exterior. And from the outside, you're looking like everything's okay and everything's alright. But you know what? Down on the inside. So many people are having bouts of loneliness and so many people have bouts of depression and so many people are having thoughts that they never thought that they would have but because they have not gotten to the place where they are able to release and let go of it and say, you know what, I was hurt as a child, but, but God, I want you to heal me right now. God, I was hurt by this instance in my life, but I need you to come into my heart and heal me right now that I've been through this fire. I've been through the blood. Many people don't even know my story because I've been through the fire. I just don't smell like smoke because God's hand was on my life. But don't look at me from the outside because, because I got something going on on the inside and, and I'm battling right now. I'm battling. I believe I got some other people in the battle right now. Because I'm gonna just talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you tonight. This morning, this evening, this afternoon, whatever time it is. Uh, because God is looking to heal some wounds today. He's looking to heal some broken hearts. Some of us are waiting for people to come apologize for some things that they've done. But I'm going to tell you, they're not going to apologize. But I don't want you to be trapped in the past. That you can enjoy your today. And look forward to your tomorrow. That it's got to break the hole today. You've got to break free today. Look at you there and say, today may be the day that you need to break through. Today may be the day. I'm going to say some things that it's going to accomplish you, but let me tell you something. Don't worry about what men think about you. I wouldn't say it unless God was already concerned about you. But so many of us have felt so violated that every time we try to do something good, People kick us back at us. And your spirit's been angry. You, you come to church, but your spirit's restless. And it's hard for you to worship because it's hard for you to look around because you see so much hurt. You see so much pain. And every time you turn around, you see how you are hurt at the hands of somebody. Who I'm talking to right now? I know I'm talking to somebody else. I'm talking to somebody else. Did you get that? I know someone in here today I'm talking to. And the remedy for our troubles is not to act like we don't have them. The remedy for our troubles is that the Bible says, cast all our cares upon him. Why? Because he cares for us. 
Somebody, somebody today, don't, 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 I need no religious spirit, but I need somebody who says, you know what? I am tired of holding on. I'm tired of carrying around unnecessary weight. I'm tired of carrying around unnecessary pain, but today is the day. I want to say, God, I want to give it to you. And if that's you tonight, I'm going to tell you to come right now. I'm not begging, I'm just saying, come right now. You need to come right now because it's time to let it go. Let's make your life.